Hello, hello. Out here again, looking for mushrooms. Today we're looking for king bleats. And I happen to have some. Nom nom. Let's go over here and look without stepping on them on the way. Ooh, look at that. That one's been eaten on. Dad's got friends over there and over there. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe. Did you see? Mm. What are you? No. And you are a peace bark. But let's have a look. Let's, uh, uh. Oh, it's firm. Oh, listen. Yeah. It pops out of the ground. They call him a porcini over in Europe, or a penny bun, because it looks like a hamburger bun. Burger bun burger. Hamburger. All right, give me a second here. Yeah, clean off the bottom of it. Get the dirt off and sitch. Oh good, you can see that. That's kind of a nice little, little angle right there, yeah? We'll cut the bottom here nice and clean. Get that last little bit of dirt. Now, look at it. And you notice, this kind of looks like a potato. There's no holes in it. So that is a bug-free bolete. And that goes in the bucket. Now let's, let's pick another one. Look at these two. Ooh. Oh, and it had a friend. And cover the holes so that way they continue to grow and thrive. Now look at this one. Had a little friend on the side here. These little ones, these ones are the ones that typically are going to have your bugs in them. <laughs> these are also the most choice of choice when it comes to these mushrooms. Why, I don't know. When they're this size, they're just as good. But these are the sought-after ones. It's one of the top five culinary mushrooms in the world when it comes to wild foraged edibles in the mushroom world. The season's real late this year here. See this, uh, see this right here, this yellow? That right there is where a bug had been trying to lay eggs. So you make sure you cut that off, so that way nothing hatches, ruins the rest of your, your mushroom. But bugs haven't burrowed into it, because you can look here, all clean, no holes. That's a good little mushroom. Let's move on to the next one. This one's a double cap. Look at that. Listen to that sound. When they're fresh like this, they make that sound. That tells you that they're nice and solid. And when you cut them, you hear that? It's kind of like peeling a potato. A little softer than a potato. It's a lot like peeling a potato. You want to get that dirt off. Any bugs that may have laid their eggs in the dirt around it, expecting this to be a food source for their babies when they hatch, you don't want any of that on your mushroom. And they could hatch at any given time, so you never know. Just to be safe, you always cut cut the dirt off. Oh, there's a deer right there. It's right behind the trees, guys. Just, I just scared the daylights out of it. Hi, pretty deer. Bye. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, let's get back to mushroom. Right. Continue to clean stuff off. It's kind of bright, ain't it? Is this better? No. Oh, there we go. There it is. That was the angle we had before. There we go. Look at that. Into the bucket. Now, let's look around here real quick. Look for 
any other little lumps in the ground? Maybe. Maybe. Nope. Okay. So, make sure that hole's nice and covered. Throw it over here. Look at this. Here. Nope. I'll just cover that ground right back up because you never know another year mushroom might grow right there so move on over here into the shade oh that feels good don't it feels real good we're going to take this piece of mushroom here even though this is still perfectly fine and edible look at that it's probably that deer that's been chewing on it we'll take this here and we're going to throw it over there because now if the deer doesn't eat it it'll compost over there and that area will be more seeded. Now I've picked mushrooms all over in this area down in here and all down in there and over in here. This right here is like the core of where this little patch is, but you know, you spread the fungus. That's why you notice in my bucket here, it's got screen in the bottom. So that way the spores can just fall out the bottom of the bucket. So wise thinking, I give back to the earth what it's giving to me. Uh, okay, so let's get these ones here. Uh, uncover them. Listen. You hear it? <laughs> wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. All kinds of little ones on it. We're going to start by... Love that sound. Off there, Aunt. You don't want that. I mean, you probably do, but I don't want you to want that. <laughs> right? And just cut the dirt off. Clean the knife off a little bit when it gets too dirty. And cut this bottom right here and look inside. Looks good to me. Another good mushroom. Let's go with this one. I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut this cluster off. We're gonna give that back to the earth because I don't think that that is really useful. There might be one right over there too. Cool, we'll have to check that out. We get done taking care of the ones we do know of. Been an exceptionally wet and mild spring so things are just now getting started i'm not really commercially picking this year because it's a shmita year therefore i'm not uh trying to do anything super productive and make money off of this this is just what god gives me in the time that i have today so that uh, i can enjoy these mushrooms we don't even have a buyer anymore this year. And uh, morel season was nothing as well. And I think that's by design. God's saying, hey, we're uh, taking a year off and letting the earth replenish itself so that we can enjoy it in future years. All right. So that takes care of that. Now I see a little, a little lump right there. That might be something. Now it's kind of looking right here. It's really hard to see, but maybe. No, that looks like it's a hole. We'll push that up right there. Yep, so we'll just bury that back. Ugh. Well, I'm getting old. Let's look at uh, let's look at this right here, though. No, that's not something. Oh, I love the smell of these mushrooms. It's uh it's got a real earthy soft sweet aroma king belites are just amazing and they taste so good this is an old and yucky something not belite but looks like one of those russulas let's go look up in here real quick Around the base of this tree has a tendency to pop them. Uh -huh. I find quite a few right in here. Right. 
So I don't see any more right here, which is okay. I mean, look, food, you know what I mean? See, it, it, it pays to, to know these things, to know how to find and identify and forage these things. We're gonna go over here first. Here's a lumpy something, huh? Here's a lumpy something, huh? Boom. Bolly does. A it. Pow. Actually, this is Rec Varus, not uh, a Dooley. Uh, cousin. Oh, look at there. One right there underneath that. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's bury this hole real quick, and then we'll go over there to that one after we look around here for a second. We'll take these with us. Just look around. Look for mushrooms. We call them mushrooms. At least I call them mushrooms. They're little lumps made by the mushroom. Little mounds. Look in here real quick. Sometimes they like to come up in this debris. And when they do, they do things like this. And their hefty lifters lifted up this stick. You know, that was laying on the ground before that mushroom grew. Pretty decent size one. Uh, looking out here, do I see any others? Do I see any others? Maybe. Wow, that's some sticky pitch on them. Anyways, I'll set that down. I moved a stick. Yeah, I'm a pretty good sized guy. Like, here's my knife. I'll lay that across there. It gives you an idea how big that one is. Yeah. Oh, that sound. That is a beautiful, beautiful <sighs> specimen. You have the reticulation here on the underside. Looks like webbing. They call that reticulation. And then see the underside of the mushroom is spongy like that. Wow, this mushroom has got so much water in it. It's literally dripping down my finger. Right there. It's juicy. Juicy. Whoa, gonna fall over. <laughs> Just randomly gonna fall over. <laughs> okay, Aunt. It's okay. It's okay. I was close to the ground anyways. <laughs> oh, let's clean up a mushroom. Good looking. Yep. Mm. Try to get the uh, better angle here. All right. Start off by just cutting that off there. Makes life a lot easier. I'll do the little cleanups. A lot of good-looking mushrooms, actually. Oh, this one weighs. This one's heavy. This one's heavy. I got no rhythm right now. <sighs> Anyways. <sighs> like a tater. <sighs> I got another spot that normally I pick during the commercial season that I call the potato patch because they're all, like, the size of potatoes. Oh, listen to that. You hear that? See, there's that potato sound right there. Hear it? <sighs> Beautiful. <sighs> oh, wow, that is just an amazing mushroom. Yeah, thank you, Heavenly Father. Bury the hole. Put this guy back in there. 
give them composts. Compost. You know, if the knife, put that away. I'm gonna walk around this side over here. The bucket's starting to get heavy. It's a good problem to have, let me tell you. There's a little LBM. It's a little brown mushroom. Okay, don't see anything over here. Let's go across the little road here. What might be over here? And then we'll walk up the trail. There's stuff up there too. to find them right over in here. Seeing them out here it tells me that uh, bleats are everywhere now. Anywhere that they're growing or that they would grow out here in our neck of the woods, I'm sure they are. Oh, here we go. See, told you. I found it. I found it. <gasps> He's got that sound. He's got that sound. We'll walk around and find some more. Yeah, that kind of stuff goes on in my head all the time. You're just privy to it this time. Don't make it a habit to expect it. <laughs> All right, we got to clean this mushroom up and uh, mosey up. So let me squat down here. Ugh. Wonder what that is right there, huh? Where'd my knife go? Let's look at this. What are you? And you are a belete, because I just broke the cap. <laughs> I thought so. So. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's three. Four, five was five in that little hole. Are you one right here too? Nope. Look around for a second. Looking at the ground. See, when you're down in this level, you can see the these kinds of things, these features, a lot easier. And then you know, like, see, there's one up there too. I can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in here. See that stick? That stick right there? I think right next to it, right there, I think that's a mound. We'll know after I get these guys cleaned up here. We got these here though. Look at that. Nice though. Nice though, bolitas. Get you set up. On my knee. And then we'll do a little trimming. A little more trimming. Get that dirt. No dirt for you. That's a good little mushroom. On to the next one. His dirt's a little, a little wetter. So it's not as easy to get off. We get as much of it as we can. And then we'll trim the bottom. Looks good. Trim the dirt off. Oh, look at that. Mm bugs tried to lay on him they're like this is gonna be a great meal for my kids when they hatch grow up give them a good start and i'm like nope nope <laughs> we're taking that two more here 
that off. Turn off all the yucky. Bug trying to climb up my arm. Dirt all up under there. Yeah. That's most of it. And for the one that we broke the cap off of. Only broke half of it. Still got the other half. deer will probably come along a little bit later here and nibble all this up that I'm that I'm cutting. Uh, okay, on to the feet once more. Find some more. And that looks more like a that looks more like a gopher trail. The hole. Let's do this. Check it. Yeah. Put it back down. Okay. What are you? Not till you bowl eat. Something yucky. That's where I came up through. We're gonna go over here. What is this? Here's something. Old and yucky. Beautiful day. Anyways, uh, let's go for just a little bit more walk up here. Not the way I intended to go, but it'll work. Over stuff. Yeah. There we go. And I'm just gonna walk up this just a little bit further. And I think we're gonna go ahead and end the video. I gotta get back to town. My wifey's waiting on me. seeing much else there's more ground to cover up there but I don't really have time today we're just making a short video on a quick jaunt up here to see what's going on but we will walk back down this and I've got another little spot over here that I want to walk through as well before I call it the end Go back down through here. I'll have a look see around. And we'll get out of here. That's not 
something. What are you? Just a mound. There's the old coral mushrooms. They're all old and yucky now. What are you right here? Something. That's the mushroom we are looking for. Anyways. I look real carefully because these mushrooms are pretty sneaky too. Sometimes they're Captain Obvious. Other times you're like, walked right past it and didn't even see it. There's an LBM of something yucky. Something yucky. <sighs> Some more old coral. Some people like to eat that stuff. Other people, it gives them indigestion. I don't know, I just prefer to stay away from it. I go after the choice edibles and not just the edibles. I mean, there's a lot of things you can eat. And, you know, there's always the joke, oh, you can eat any mushroom once. That's just stupid. I hate it when people, you know, preempt the comments here. Don't say something stupid like that, please. Yeah. Never, never, never put a raw mushroom in your mouth that you wild foraged. That's you know, my number one rule of thumb. Also, you uh, want to make sure 100% you know what you're, you're foraging. If you're unsure, you know, when in doubt, leave it out. That's another basic rule. That, uh, if more people adhered to that, then there would be a lot less misconceptions about the mushroom world and what's edible and what's not and then number three is make sure you wash whatever you wild forage thoroughly because you never know what's peed on it or otherwise and you don't want that that is gross there's not any nutritional benefit whatsoever to you. It's uh, no bueno. You feel me? So, stick with those three things and probably be pretty safe. Probably. I wouldn't say you would be, but probably. You know. Be careful. Another thing to watch out for is what, uh, the, what the mushroom's growing next to. You know, is it growing next to a poisonous mushroom? I've seen choice edibles literally growing right next to deadly mushrooms. And some people might be uh, tempted to forage that, which is a terrible, terrible idea. All right, well, I don't want to walk down there. Not today. What's this over here? not a mushroom. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to the car and get out of here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. That way uh, it encourages me to make more videos. I like doing this stuff, but you know, I have a family to take care of. They're all disabled. And uh, I don't I don't have a lot of time sometimes to think about and focus on other things but it's good for me and it's encouraging to see the numbers of views and uh it's nice to know people enjoy my content so if you enjoyed this like i said give it a thumbs up hopefully i'll see you next time peace